Steve Hankey is a professor of applied economics at Johns Hopkins University, and he joins me now from the U.S. City of Baltimore, and we appreciate it very much. So what does this mean for the average Iranian economically? We've been talking a lot about businesses, but what about the people individually? Well, in, individually, it's a great day for free markets and free trade, so, so that's a big plus. Uh, and, and this means a, a pocketbook issue for most Iranians. Within three years, I think their per capita income in Iran will increase by about a third. So you, you'll go from a, a little under $5,000 per capita to something a little over $6,000 per capita. So it's, it's a lot of money in, in the pocketbook. Um, and so the, you're saying the time horizon could be three to five years. This isn't something that people are going to feel immediately? Well, I, I, I think they'll feel uh, uh, the numbers that I just gave you are, are out three years. By the end of a three-year period, their income will be about a third higher on a per capita basis than it is right now. But the main thing is this idea of free markets and, and free trade and, and a huge confidence shock that will come into the economy and start really changing the whole perspective that anyone in Iran has. And, and when you look at it, Rouhani has already really laid the groundwork for, for really a takeoff because in 2012, remember, inflation was about 200 percent per annum. They were hyperinflating. Now, the inflation rate's about 15.5%. By next year, it'll go down to about 10%. So that, that's also something people feel. And if you look at something called the misery index, which I calculate, the, the top five countries on the misery index are, are now, at the end of 2014, were Venezuela, Argentina, Syria, Ukraine, and Iran. Well, Iran will be eliminated from that top five list. And, and the, the, the calculation of misery will go down significantly for ordinary people in Iran. Okay, um, Steve Hankey, Professor of Applied Economics at Johns Hopkins University. Uh, professor Hankey, thank you very much. Thank you. Iraqi forces have suffered heavy losses after launching its new offensive against ISIL. At least 81 soldiers and pro-government fighters have been killed.